Question 5.2 states that Mr. Doozy decides to also study the crime statistics before buying the piece of land. He finds the following crime statistics for 2021-2022 represented in this graph. The stats consist of two horizontal bar graphs. The first graph shows the percentage of house break-ins, while the second graph shows the number of house break-ins in each of the nine provinces in South Africa. There is a note that states that the percentage of house break-ins represents the part of the provincial population that experience a house break-in. The statement means that 6% of the population of the Northern Cape experienced a house break-in from 2021 to 2022. You have to use the information in the graph to answer the following questions. In question 5 to 1, you have to calculate the median number of break-ins. To calculate the median of a data set, we first have to arrange the data in ascending order. By observation, we can see that the data for the number of house break-ins are already arranged in ascending order. That is, from the smallest value to the largest value. Now, the median is a measure of central tendency. It is the value that divides the data set into two equal groups of values. We know that there are nine provinces in South Africa, so the fifth value in the data set will be the median. This is because the fifth value divides the data set into two groups of four values. The median for the number of house break-ins will then be 102,000. In question 522, you have to calculate the range in the number of house break-ins. The range is a measure of spread and it's calculated by finding the difference between the largest value in the data set and the smallest value in the data set. Now the largest value in the number of house break-ins is 255,000 and the smallest value from the number of house break-ins is 21,000. The difference between these two values is 234,000. In question 523, you have to calculate the total number of households in the Northern Cape. Now remember the note that stated that the percentage of house break-ins represents the part of the provincial population that experience a house break-in. This means that 6% of the population of the Northern Cape experienced a house break-in. Now if 6% represents the part of the population that experienced a house break-in in the Northern Cape, then 100% represents the total population of the entire Northern Cape. Now we also know from the data that there were 21,000 house break-ins in the Northern Cape. This represents the 6% of the population that experienced a house break-in in the Northern Cape. Now we are asked to calculate the total number of households in the Northern Cape. As a percentage, the total number of households in the Northern Cape can be considered to be 100%. And we know that 6% of the households experience a break-in and 6% as a number equals 21,000. Now we can calculate the total number of households in the Northern Cape using the following equation. 21,000 multiplied by 100 divided by 6. This equals 350,000 households. In question 524, Mr. Duzi's cousin stated that more than four provinces had a percentage of house break-ins above the provincial average percentage. You have to verify showing all calculations whether the statement is valid. Now the first step to solving this problem is to calculate the provincial average percentage. The average, also known as the mean, is a measure of central tendency. 
It is calculated by finding the sum of the values in a data set divided by the number of values in that data set. This will then be the sum of the percentages of all the provinces divided by the number of provinces in South Africa of 9. This will give us an average of 5,6%. Now there are five provinces in South Africa that had a percentage of housebreakings above the provincial average percentage. And Mr. Doozy's cousin stated that more than four provinces had a percentage of housebreakings above the provincial average. This means that the statement is valid. In question 525, Mr. Doozy stated that the Western Cape is safer than Gauteng as there were less reported cases of house break-ins. You have to critically comment on the statement by referring to all relevant information. Now if we analyze the data, we see that there are 204,000 house break-ins in Gauteng versus 160,000 house break-ins in the Western Cape. Yes, there are more house break-ins in Gauteng compared to the Western Cape, but there is a higher probability of a house break-in in the Western Cape compared to Gauteng. We can see it here by comparing the percentage of house break-ins. There is a 5,8% chance of a house break-in in the Western Cape compared to a house break-in of 3,7% in Gauteng. That's a 2,1% greater chance of a house breaking in the Western Cape compared to Gauteng. Therefore, we have to comment that the Western Cape has a higher probability of a house breaking compared to Gauteng because of the higher percentage of households affected by break-ins.